morning students we are discussing bio safety and uh, ethical issues right bio safety and uh, ethical issues right this genetically modified crops uh, genetically modified crops uh, right they may cause uh, what sir they may cause uh, gene pollution we are discussing this statement they may cause gene pollution right therefore risk risk of what sir risk of uh, gene pollution risk of what gene uh, pollution risk of gene pollution why sir due to due to transfer of new genes due to transfer of uh, new genes uh, due to transfer of new genes uh, to wild wild related species due to transfer of new genes to wild related species okay by natural out crossing by natural out crossing sir what is the meaning of this statement sir for example for example two agricultural fields are there in first uh, right uh, agricultural field uh, the farmer he is growing uh, normal he is growing uh, what sir he is growing normal cotton crop normal cotton crop whereas uh, in the second one right uh, whereas in the second agricultural field uh, the farmer he is growing bt cotton therefore what is there in the what is there uh, right uh, in the second agricultural field sir bt cotton what it is sir bt cotton is it okay right now listen this statement for example this bt cotton has produced the pollen grains what it is going to produce sir pollen grains sir this pollen grains if they are fallen on the stigma of this normal cotton crop this pollen grain is coming and falling on what sir coming and falling on the normal cotton crop now see this statement it means uh, this pollen grain it is bringing new genes uh, because this is bt cotton yes or no bt cotton means uh, it is uh, having bacillus thuringiensis gene bt gene in it yes or no therefore what is happening here sir if this pollen grain comes and falls on the stigma of this normal cotton crop okay then automatically what are transferred sir new genes are transferred new genes are transferred from where to where from bt cotton crop to normal cotton crop therefore new genes are transferred to what sir wild related species by what by natural out crossing sir out crossing means nothing but cross pollination out crossing means nothing but what sir cross pollination cross pollination sir are we collecting the pollen grains from this cotton plant and transferring the pollen grains onto this cotton plant no we are not transferring the pollen grains from anther to stigma it means in the nature itself this cross pollination has taken place so we are calling it as a what sir natural out crossing there is a natural cross pollination therefore due to natural out crossing there is a due to natural cross pollination right uh, this wild related species is receiving new genes has received new genes which leads to what sir gene pollution is this statement okay due to this gene pollution what are developed super weeds are developed due to what sir gene pollution due to gene pollution what are developed sir super weeds are developed super weeds are developed sir what is the speciality of this super weeds sir this super weeds they grow faster than the normal crop and they are resistant to weed sites it means we cannot remove them by using weed sites because they are resistant to weed sites 
is this statement okay right therefore this super weeds grow grow faster grow faster than normal crop they are growing faster than the normal crop who are growing faster than the normal crops are super weeds and the super weeds are resistant super weeds are resistant they are resistant to what sir they are resistant to weedy sites they are resistant to what sir weedy sites is this statement okay therefore due to gene pollution super weeds are formed this super weeds they are growing faster than the normal crop and the super weeds are resistant to what sir weedy sites they are resistant to weedy sites is this statements okay right therefore therefore manipulation of a living organism by genetic engineering should be under control of regulations it means living organisms should be regulated by genetic engineering process right uh, with some regulations with some regulations is this statement okay right manipulation manipulation of a living organism manipulation of a living organism by by genetic engineering by genetic engineering should be under regulation it means it should be regulated is this statement okay so in india one organization was uh, set up by name uh, genetic engineering approval committee what is this organization name sir genetic engineering approval committee genetic engineering approval committee what is the full form of g e right a c genetic engineering approval committee sir what is the use of this genetic engineering approval committee sir this genetic engineering approval committee is concerned with the safety and validity of genetically modified crops it means to what extent a genetically modified crop is safe when introduced into the natural ecosystem whether it is safe to the human and animals or not to what extent a organism should be manipulated by genetic engineering process all these decisions are made by genetic engineering approval committee is this statements okay therefore genetic engineering approval committee what is a genetic engineering approval committee right it is concerned with what sir it is concerned with safety it is concerned with safety and validity it is concerned with safety and validity of what genetically genetically modified organisms it is concerned with the safety and validity of a genetically modified organisms genetically modified organisms is this statement okay right this full form is important genetic engineering approval committee concerned with the safety and validity of genetically modified organisms is this statements okay right now listen here see here sir the modification or usage of living organisms for public services sir a living organism is modified or we are using a living organism as a source of food we are using a living organism as a source of what sir medicine usage of living organisms okay right created a problems with what sir patents granted for the same 
see this statement the modification or usage of living organisms for public services for public services has also created problems with patents granted for the same sir patent means all rights are received it means a person is getting complete authority on a product or on a technology right that is called as what sir patent all rights are received on a particular product or on a particular technology that is called as what sir patent now see here there is a growing public anger that certain companies are being granted patents for what patents for products and technologies that uh, make use of uh, genetic material that make use of genetic material plants uh, and other biological resources that have been identified uh, developed uh, and used by farmers uh, and indigenous people of a specific region or a country what is the meaning for this statement it means uh, in a particular region or in a particular country one product is used from ancient times onwards for example one one of the product is used by a specific region or a specific country from ancient times onwards but uh, but a newly developed uh, right company recently for example if they got patent for that product if they got patent for that product what does it mean it means they are getting all rights on that product is it correct no for example take turmeric we are using this turmeric from ancient times onwards as an antiseptic yes or no we are using turmeric as an antiseptic from ancient times onwards if uh, a newly developed company right uh, it is going to prepare right antiseptic cream by using this turmeric then if they gets patent for that cream then what does it mean it means the products of turmeric got patented by that uh, company is it correct no therefore there is a growing public anger that certain companies are being granted uh, patents for what products and technologies that make use of genetic materials what plants and other biological resources that have been identified developed and used by farmers and indigenous people of a specific region or country is this statements okay right now listen this statement for example take a rice what sir rice sir in our continent in our continent that is in asia alone we are having right uh, we are having uh, nearly thousands of years history concerned to what sir rice it means uh, in our continent that is in asia we are culturing this uh, rice uh, from thousands of years onwards we are culturing this rice from thousands of years onwards in our continent in asian continent therefore thousands of years history in asian agricultural right in asian agriculture who is having thousands of years history right uh, in our continent sir rice sir in india alone 2 uh, lakhs of rice varieties are present in india alone 2 lakhs of rice varieties are present it means concerned to rice diversity india is a uh, one of the richest countries in the world concerned to what rice diversity i am speaking about rice diversity why sir because in india alone how many rice varieties are there 2 lakhs of rice varieties are present in india alone so india is one of the richest countries uh, concerned to what sir rice diversity concerned to what rice diversity is it okay right now listen here take a basmati variety of rice take basmati rice 
सर दिस बासमती राइस इट इज फेमस फॉर यूनिक एरोमा एरोमा स्मेल एंड फ्लेवर बासमती राइस इट इज फेमस फॉर यूनिक एरोमा इट इज यूनिक स्मेल एंड व्हाट मोर सर फ्लेवर इज इट ओके सर इन इंडिया 27 सेवन डॉक्यूमेंटेड वेराइटीज ऑफ बासमती आर ग्रोन इन इंडिया right uh, how many documented varieties of basmati are grown sir 27 documented varieties of basmati are grown in india is it okay right sir in 1997 right a american company right american company they got patent for whom for basmati from where they got this patent sir from us patent and trademark office they got patent for basmati who got this patent a american company got patent for basmati from us patent and trademark office right this allowed the company which company american company to sell what a new variety of basmati right in us and abroad right uh, in us and abroad listen this statement sir uh, what this american company actually did means uh, they crossed indian basmati with semi dwarf rice they crossed what indian basmati therefore indian basmati when this indian basmati is crossed with a what sir is crossed with a semi dwarf is crossed with a semi dwarf rice variety when this indian basmati is crossed with a semi dwarf rice variety they got a new variety of basmati they got a new variety of basmati sir what is the name of that new variety of basmati sir itself uh, that new variety is named itself as new variety of what sir basmati is this statement okay right therefore in 1997 a american company what they did means uh, they crossed uh, what indian basmati with uh, semi dwarf rice variety they crossed indian basmati with semi dwarf rice variety and obtained a new variety of basmati and now they are saying that we are producers of basmati from ancient times we are using this basmati in our poems also right there is a there is matter concerned to this basmati therefore how we can give patent uh, for them for basmati yes or no but uh, right this american company they got patent for basmati right from us patent and trademark office they got patent from us patent and trademark office is this statements okay right now listen here several attempts have also been made to patent uses products and processes based on indian traditional herbal medicines such as uh, turmeric and uh, neem see this statement carefully sir turmeric and neem they are used in india right in many traditional herbal medicines in the preparation of uh, many traditional herbal medicines we are using this turmeric and neem from ancient times onwards is this statement okay many countries many companies many countries many companies they are trying to get patent on what sir on indian traditional herbal medicines such as turmeric and neem strictly speaking they got patent also for turmeric and neem but we objected that patent so that patent was uh, right revoked right therefore for what for turmeric and uh, neem right for turmeric and what more sir neem for turmeric and neem uh, patent was patent was uh, granted for not indians for others 
but this patent but this patent it means this patent means patent for turmeric and neem but this patent was a uh, revoked revoked means cancelled is it okay it means uh, foreigners they got patent for turmeric and neem but uh, when we started fighting against that patent uh, finally right that patent was uh, revoked that patent was cancelled is this statement okay if we are not uh, if we are not uh, vigilant careful and do immediately counter this patent applications this patent applications other countries may encash other countries may encash our rich legacy legacy what we got from our forefathers right and we may not able to do anything about it yes or no whatever we are getting from our forefathers we should preserve it yes or no right therefore rich legacy legacy means what we got from our forefathers is it okay right therefore if we are not uh, vigilant means uh, careful and do immediately counter right this patent applications other countries may encash our rich legacy and we may not able to do anything about it is this statements okay any doubts in this statements right go for biopiracy what it is biopiracy what is the meaning of biopiracy sir using bio resources by multinational companies or other organizations without proper without proper authorization from the countries and people concerned people concerned are without uh, without a compensatory payment without compensatory payment listen this statement sir using bio resources using bio resources by multinational companies and other organizations without taking proper permission from the concerned person or without paying uh, right uh, proper compensation without taking permission without paying uh, right proper compensation if bio resources are exploited bio resources are used uh, by multinational companies or by any other organizations it is called as what sir bio piracy what it is called as bio piracy is it okay sir on this earth uh, right the distribution of resources is unequal distribution of bio resources is a uh, unequal on this earth how you are saying this statement sir listen in most of the industrialized nations in most of the industrialized nations it means a developed countries in most of the developed countries if you see financially they are rich but concerned to biodiversity and traditional knowledge they are poor therefore most of the industrialized nations even though they are financially rich okay they are poor in biodiversity and traditional knowledge whereas if you take developing countries and under developed countries developing countries and under developed countries they are rich in biodiversity at the same time we are also rich in traditional knowledge related to bio resources traditional knowledge related to bio resources therefore developing countries and under developed countries they are rich in biodiversity and traditional knowledge related to bio resources these statements clearly indicates that uh, the distribution of bio resources on this earth uh, is it equal or unequal unequal therefore unequal distribution of bio resources on this earth so what sir due to unequal distribution of bio resources on this earth uh, this developed countries are exploiting the bio resources of this developing and under developed countries uh, without taking without uh, taking permission from these countries or without paying proper compensation to these countries 
is this statements clear is it okay right now listen this statement sir traditional knowledge related to bio resources traditional knowledge related to bio resources can be exploited why sir to develop a modern applications to develop what sir modern applications sir what is the use of this modern application sir this modern application sir they saves the time saves the efforts and save the expenditure when during commercialization therefore sir traditional knowledge related to bio resources if we exploit the traditional knowledge related to bio resources in developing modern applications this modern applications will save the time efforts and expenditure during their commercialization during their commercialization is this statements okay right thank you